All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakwah, Badash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone. Citation to the brothers pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth. Now we're getting my title. Uh, we must love our brethren, man. All right? Respectfully. We must keep the unity here in Babylon, man. And I know you think, and I know, and, and, and here we're not doing that, man. You look at our nation, man, the so called Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes, man. We, should, we destroy each other uh, more likely than um, our enemy, man, which is Esau. You know, but within our chosen nation, we got to love one another. The brethren got to love one another, man. All right. It seemed to be grievous for us to do. <clears throat> Lock you. But the Lord commanded that we love one another, all right? Keep a holy, holy conversation amongst one another, man. And let me get uh I'm gonna to a precept. This is James chapter four, verse eleven. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh the evil of his bro brother. And judge of his brother, all right, speaketh evil of the law, all right. You judge and speak evil, um, evil against the brethren, you're going up against God's laws, man. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be contrary of this manual, man, because the Lord is going to destroy you for that, man. All right, he's making it plain, man. He speak evil of his brother and judge his brother. You speak evil of his laws. And this is one of them. All right, I'm going to move on. And judge of the law, but if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. All right. You're not fulfilling these laws. You're just a, a flat-out judge. You're pointing. You're defeating the purpose of serving the law. If you got a, pro a problem with a brethren, man, you, made it, you just made it plain and simple in this precept. All right. Going up against the brothers, you got a problem with the law. All right, that's why we got we got to have that spiritual unity, man. But the Lord ain't having it, obviously. It's written. All right, it's very important that we love our brother. And uh, I don't know why it's so hard for us to do that. This is and I got another precept. This is uh. Is it uh first John chapter four? This is first John chapter four verse eleven. Beloved, if God so loved us, we gotta also love one another. Alright. If the Lord loves us, we gotta love one another like he loves us. Alright. But you can't, I know you can't tell two, thir two thirds of our people that, you know, sadly, that's grievous for us to do in, his na in, our, in our nation, man, is love one another. But we must, man. It's a commandment that we do. All right. The unity in amongst the brothers is not hard, man. The Lord is looking down on all this, man. All the hate, envy. Jealousy. The Lord's hate those things, man. He hate it. But we had that for one another here in Babylon. You know? And our enemy, he loved that, man. He loved to see us against each other like that, man. And now, uh, let me get into another precept. This is John Salaki. It's bad with me. James. John. This is John chapter 3, verse 16. All right. 
No, I don't want to bring that out, so lucky. I don't want to bring that out. No, no. This is John Chopper. Uh, Fifteen. All right, John tried to fifteen. Verse thirteen. This is John chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. Greater love hath no man than hit than this that a man lay down his life for his friend. All right, a man in his truth and a sincere brethren. We'll lay down his life for him, man. All right. <laughs> That'll be hard to find. It'll be hard to see a witness. But if you're sincere, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. All right. You'll probably never witness that, but it's a commandment that we do. That's kind of love we're supposed to have for the brethren, man. All right. We would be ahead if we had that strong kind of unity, man, but we don't. All right. We fail to follow that law. You know, and we're going to pay the price for it, man. All right. Niggas can say they do. Yeah, I die, die, all right. But when it came down to it, man, niggas. They pussies, man. It's a lucky for my language, but everybody ain't that sincere when it really comes down to it. You know? And uh, I'm gonna get this another precept. This is John chapter 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I love you, you that you also love one another. All right, it's a commandment that I give you, a commandment that we love each other. Commandments mean you better. All right, and if you look at our people, man, we, man, we the second number one killer in our nation other than the, in the goddamn uh, Edomite, other than Esau. All right. These dumbass niggas in gangs, you know, going up against each other, you know. We're going off and fighting a white man's war. You know, we we catching the we catching the L here in Babylon because we don't we don't we don't take heed to the laws, man. We take the Lord for granted and tell us to love one another, you know. Jake's too competitive, man. All right. <clears throat> the long clock not waking you Jake's up, man. All right. The Lord sent back watching us destroy each other, man. And when he come, he go destroy us, man. If we don't get it together, man. No. I'm gonna get into another another precept, you know. And the Lord died for us, man. You know, to keep his commandments. He died for us because he loved us. And we can't love each other, man. Look how God sent his son for us. Alright? That's true love, man. Let me get into a um, precept on it. You know, the, the common precept. You know, I was going to skip over and get into it. This is John chapter 3, verse. It's John chapter 3, uh, verse 16. One of the most common precepts. For God has so loved the world that he had gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
All right. He's son's only son. He son's only begotten son in the world that gave his. He was only begotten son for us. When you look at our nation, we hate each other and shit like that, man. Salakia. You know? You can't even show love once, um, to one another. And the true love that's shown you how a shot has for us, man. And the thing is, he forgives us. You know? You Israelites, that love is for you. He died for you. And I'm going to answer that. This is John chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto you, the lost sheep of Israel. All right. For Israelites, Jates, man. Latinos, Native Americans, so-called Negroes. All right. We got to love the brethren, man. All right. He commanded. He sent his son. All right. Because we're knuckleheads. To die for our foolishness, man. You know, you have to understand that the Lord got crucified for us, man. And gave these commandments for us. You need to more likely to go off, man. Y'all in love with some simplicity instead of these laws. All right. You know, my reason for doing this video, Lord willing, who listen to edify, you know, love the brethren. All right. All you camps out there, man. You know. Keep the brotherhood tight. All right. With that being said, it's like the mind is truth is a terrible thing to waste. Shalom, Israel.